What up? It's DJ Sus One, the feature presentation radio show. Ali V is here co-hosting. Yes, sir. We got a friend to the show. Came in completely swagged out. <laughs> no too kind. As usual. Trade the truth is in the building. What up, though? What's up, boy? Man, I'm blessed, man. Obviously, the diamonds is shining directly in my face. <laughs> Yo, for the, anybody tuned in, he just smiled, and his the mouth pause piece is more than my house. What, <laughs> Trey, what's good, bro? New album, you back? Yeah. Part three? Yeah, album, the truth three. Um, it released the day before Trey Day, so it got it kind of got lost in the shuffle. So we making we making up for that lost time. Nah, you think I'm you got only lost? a week? I'm only a week late. We gonna get it though. How was Trey Day? By the way, every year, man. Bigger and bigger, man. Unexplainable. Drake went to this one, right? Yeah, yeah. He, um, well, you know, he was he was in the city doing his thing. We we did something together that Thursday, and then you know I had some going Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that's dope. It's ten year anniversary. I mean, of course, you know, I've been had my own day. Now I got the key to the city. I know. Yeah, congrats How on that, that, bro. That was a blessing, man. Yeah, that was big. I, I don't even know what that means yet, but you know, <laughs> we're gonna celebrate. It means more. Well, I don't know if you're married. I was about to say it means more vaginal and more oh, wins. Oh <laughs> I'm not married. I ain't got none of that going on. Uh, okay, my bad. bad. <laughs> yeah. So how do you know like what direction to go with Trade Day? Like, how do you continue to expand it? I think at the end of the day when you're doing it genuinely from the heart, mm-hmm. you just you make it work. I mean, of course, it's 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Like, first and foremost, I take pride in making sure that these kids get their supplies they, you know, they backpacks, immunization shots. Mm-hmm. Even, you know, they don't always do the HIV testing, but it's always important for them to know their status, some of the teenagers. Um, and then, you know, I go get a load of moonwalks. I bring snow to obstacle courses, laser tag, camels. That's and I fly in a whole bunch of my entertainer partners, whether they movie stars, um, singers, rappers, athletes, people that they'll only be able to see on the YouTubes or Instagram and, and other stuff. I bring them out there and I, I put them up close and personal where they can touch them, you know. That's good. And, uh, you know, it's like one of them experiences in their life that they'll probably remember for the rest of their life. So mm-hmm. just being able to do that is a blessing. And it, it just keep growing. Like this year was so big. They had to, it's an outside event. They had to stop letting people in at the park. Wow. So that who, many who else does festivals like this? I mean, you you got Texas on lock with Trey Day. I know I know Drake does OVO Fest. I'm talking mm-hmm. about artist wise. I know there's a plenty of festivals, but yeah, like right. artist wise, I, I believe uh, Chance does some too. I believe Chance the rapper do some in Chicago. Um, I know Luda do mm-hmm. some stuff. In, oh yeah, in Luda ATL. does have one. Um, I'm but that, not really sure. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm sparking a lot of seeds though, because I'm watching a lot of people give to try and do stuff, which that's a good thing, you know. Because I tell people, man, it's different than seeing it from a distance right. to actually coming out there, experience, experiencing what um, what I do and seeing how how the expressions on their face from being helped. You know what I'm saying? How appreciative a lot of people are. So, well, you're really big on giving back, and I know that you teamed up with um Houston Library, Houston Public Library, yeah, and, and McDonald's, too. and McDonald's, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how how does that work? Um, so like what what year, what was your um collaboration with Houston yeah, Public Library? Last year, what we did is we collab last minute to um do stuff for um students and give away scholarships, which it was small last year. This year, it, I mean, I don't know. I guess with it being a ten ten year anniversary for me, it's like everybody went all out. Um, so we did that, and then we had a, a ceremony right after, and it was a building full of people. They probably ain't never seen that many people right. ever. Man, it, the support was was crazy, crazy. And you know, I bought a lot of people out. Um, Atheon Crockett, you know, the, mm. the actor, Officer Norman, Tommy Norman from uh, Instagram. Yeah, that's uh, Raheem Devon, um, Snoop Dogg's mother came. I don't know, it was, it was a lot of people. So, you know, uh, I did that, which that was a definitely a good thing. But, you know, it's like out of all the other stuff that goes on that built up to this point, a lot of the press was only about the, the scholarships in the library. And I'm trying to I'm trying to divide it all up so people can understand this way more than just that, too, because mm-hmm. 
you still got to remember about these five, 6,000 kids that's just now starting their first year of school, too, that was in need. So all of it go hand in hand. It was like it was so much going on, I wasn't even able to really post pictures like I want to. So I'm a, whenever I get a day off, I'm just going to use a whole day just reliving just the moment. For, yeah, on. you know what I'm saying? Because it, it's so much that, that came into play then being the first rapper that, that McDonald's embraced and then being a street That's cat huge. at that, that was... That's big. Yeah, that man. was super, super amazing, man. That was big. Is 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 it hard to do these type of events 10 years in a row, meaning I, I, you get all the support, but we're hip-hop at the end of the day. And I know when we, even when I just do a club in New York, the hip-hop police is there, they're harassing me. Oh. It doesn't ma- even matter if it's for a good cause. They, I'm, a, they just, I'm a big homie in the city, so mm-hmm. you gonna see... You see the mayor, the Congress people, the city control, the whole city of Houston. You're going to see officers there off duty. You're going to, like, people come out. And, you know, the streets definitely come out. So that day is kind of, when I do my thing, it's understanding, like, you know, we, we coming together for the city. So anybody who come to mess that up, that means you ain't you ain't got no respect or no love for us, so. Can you can control the streets from starting like fights and drama? You know, oh, man, he got the it's keys to the, the point. City. Yeah, I'm sure he can. He got I'm the saying, keys to the city. You, I, I post, I post the video. I don't even know if I posted it, but the mayor said he, he said clear as day, man. Trey's one of the only people that can do things that I can probably never do. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Huge. So, um, you know, a, a lot of people come together. It's a it's a bigger cause, man. Like believe it or not, so. When we first started, you know, it, it was room for negativity because, you know, that's what a mind state is. But after a while, people got it. And now that they got it, it's like they're not going to let nobody take that away from them. Yeah. Because trade day, even though it's about me, it's it's about the city. So taking it from me is taking it from them. You know what I'm saying? So we protect that like it's one of our own children. Now, the album, The Truth yeah. Part 3. You see how hard this was? We just spent all this time talking about Trey Day, and that this is why <laughs> this is how the album got lost in the shovel, which is a good thing. I mean, it's a big know, thing. It's a good thing, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a but, good thing. But the reason I'm here is for the truth, three. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got so many things to talk about. So let's talk about the album. Now, Most not to definitely. disrespect, but where did you find Chameleon there? That was nothing but a phone call away. Me and Chameleon are always we always oh, see. I've been touch. friends because it's like yeah, he's been out yeah. the game. I was like. You don't see him on too many people's albums, at least, at least I don't mm-hmm. recently. Yeah, you know, he don't really, he he really chooses not to do music with people like that. You know, he in the tech world, so you it was know, tech. I thought it was real estate. Nah, I was gonna ask yeah. you. I heard he's, he's making a lot world. of money. He he did an investment in tech, then got a lot of money yeah. back and said, "Fuck hip hop, I'm doing this I tech shit." Think, I don't even think it's that he said fuck hip hop. I think he was just he was just focused on it because, mm-hmm. again. If you listen to the verse on I'm on, you could tell he still got it. So it's never that he said fuck it, because if he did, he probably would have gave me a half ass verse, and that didn't happen, you know. True. Um, actually, speaking to him, me and him, um, it's me, him, E40, Big Boy from Outkast, Trey Song. Um, there's quite a few of us. We just all we all embracing this new app called Combos, mm. C O N B O Z. So it's Combos with a Z. Are you part owner? And, um, Keep it real. <laughs> I'm, I'm embracing it. So, okay. so okay. you know, a lot of us standing behind it and it's something way different than what people used to. But one thing for sure, he's always been sharp enough to to support and get behind the right things. You know what I'm saying? Like people would have no idea, you know. He was one of the first ones to stand with Lyft. They don't understand how, how in there he is. You know what's you know? crazy about our era? Um, well, this younger generation era of music, mm-hmm. if you don't post it, it doesn't exist to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I almost want to get the money the time, and not you know, the fame. That, that's people's reality is just whatever their perception is at that time, that's their reality. That's their reality. Mm-hmm. And you know, that's a gift and a curse because I can get on here and just get on the gram just talking like, oh yeah, I just slapped the shit out of sus right now. And at the Girls end of the day, they gonna, across the nation. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just, at the end of the day, they're gonna believe what I say unless otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. just that's the gift and a curse to it. Cause that easy, it can set you a wave where you end up. It'll take your life to a whole new levels. But at the same time, it's it can also take away from you. You know what I'm saying? So not exactly. I feel the girl. I feel like girls on social media rather be with. 
with the the dope boy posting the the the, f- f- the money to the ear for the moment mm-hmm. and Chameleonaire being an investor in Lyft and being behind Lyft. It's like whatever. Yeah, it's not on social media. It's not right. popping. <laughs> Let's talk about the single. I'm on 3.0. You have so many features on this. This is bigger than. Did you call it a single? Well, no, I'm messing with you. I, would I don't just say that because you know I don't really. Uh, me being banned from radio, I ain't even thought about singles. I just do records. Okay, uh-huh. you're right. So let's talk about the record. Yeah. You have so many features on this, which is right now the same way Trade Day is growing. I feel like this track is growing. Like all your features are growing. Why did you choose to number one get so many features on this particular song, and then two? What was it about each of these people that you felt you was got a Mark drum? Morrison. He has yeah, everybody on it. And I how do you even pull this off? Uh I don't really I don't really think about who who I like I'm doing it cuz I'm I'm only cool with this person. I just I just go with my vibe. I mean, the first I'm on was me, Big Boy from Outkast, mm-hmm. Wiz, Lupe and Wale and uh Pooh Bell. The second one was me, Pooh Bell, Mark Morrison, Big Crit, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, B.O.B., um, Jada Kiss, Tiger, Gutter, and Bun. So that lineup there was almost Crazy. Eight, eight to ten people. So mm-hmm. it was like I'm going to have to outdo anything I do. So I went for it. I, I probably could. I, if I really wanted to just show off, I would have went for 20 people on there. But I, 16 was enough, you know. <laughs> Save that for I'm on 4.0. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I said I wasn't doing no more I'm ons, but this didn't crunk up the world so much. They waiting on me to do a, a 4.0. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I don't know when. Because, you know, a lot of times when I do the I'm ons, it'd be definitely with vets, but also with up and comings that I feel – the world need to pay attention to because if you go look at the history of it, every person that I put on there is at the top of their game as we speak. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Who? As far as the first two versions, now you have the third version and everybody on there is on their way to the top of their top of their game. Speaking of that, who was the new swag out here? Obviously, you got T Grizzly, you got Davies, but who was like the new swag that Trader Truth is listening to out here right now? There's a lot of new people out right now in, oh. in hip hop. Lately, I just I just got familiar with um I, I believe J I D. Okay. Um, with J Cole. He, he he has a record that's so fucking dope. But yeah. Huh. J J I D. He's oh, yeah. lit. He got a record. Yeah, I forgot he, the name you of it. Know, he kind of remind me of Kendrick in a sense. Yeah, the yeah. way he spits, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the and the beats changing in the middle of the fucking song to another beat. Yeah. Um, I was the same way how I pay attention to him. I was the same way with Bryson Tiller. Um, he's tough. Which you know he. He in pocket now, so he ain't yeah, really a new. He ain't, new yeah, he ain't new no more. But I got you know, I, I be in tune like on there on my album. It's actually someone named Kim. Kim like a mixture of of Bryce and Drake and Kendrick. He do it all from rap to sing, um, and discovering him, the producer who do most of his beats are the one who did all Bryce and stuff. Ao the producer, so okay. You know, it's always dope to. So I'm gonna pay more attention to Kim. I could tell you that T Grizzly is moving out here. Yes, he's really yes. moving out here. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, most definitely. Davies too. Yeah, Davies mm-hmm. moving. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. salute to Davies. He just dropped the record with Chris Brown. So what can people expect from Part Three? Oh, That's different music. from the first two. It's gonna be good music. Two. I mean, the other two were definitely dope music. I feel Part Three is the best out of. I feel Part Three is the best of both one and two, which make it the third um installment but uh i don't know you know I, I ain't never been one to brag about how much better my music is than the next person you know i'm I'm always one of the show improves you just gotta check it out you know it's gonna speak for itself but uh people love the record the, one, the ones i leaked i leaked the i'm on then i had leaked thugging with me young thug and skipper the flipper and then i had leaked too late with me and post malone that's another crazy one um then there's a record on there called Fallen with Drum. You know, people used to hear Drum on records like Broccoli and Cha Cha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they don't really realize, like, he got that, that whole soul feel and he can really sing. So when you hear him on mine, it's going to be something that's, that's going to make you be like, whoa. So it's time to talk to Trade the Truth about things that's going on in pop culture. Yes. Hold right. on. In what culture? Well, not pop. Like, 
just the popular world? Like, what's going on out there? Uh, um, it depends, because let me tell you ahead of time, you got to remember I'm a solid one, so I don't really I don't form too many opinions about the extra shit people got going on. Well, it no, it's things I think you would enjoy, though, like Mayweather or McGregor. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I you know, I always I gotta draw that line ahead of time, you know what I'm saying? So I let it be known. That way we don't beat around the bush. Yeah. Mayweather Gre- McGregor, um, both dope. I fuck with McGregor cause he, he just <laughs> win, lose, or draw, he gonna go there. You know what I'm saying? Really? McGregor? Yeah. No, I'm not saying who I think gonna win. Oh, that's what I no, meant. No, I'm I'm who would you put I'm your money on? You, right. So I was telling you I fuck with McGregor just yeah. because you know, he 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 had a heart. He gonna fight, win, lose, or draw. But only way McGregor would win is if this was in the MMA ring, and that ain't what this is. Mm-hmm. So you gotta remember, Floyd specializes, like he specializes in not getting hit. Period. That's just what he do. You know what I'm saying? So he coming into his world. Floyd is definitely gonna win. Now, how bad I can't say, but he's definitely gonna win. Only way Floyd will win is if. He if McGregor does some UFC shit kick, or whatever yeah. he's not supposed to be doing, right? But I just found out today that it's clause in the contract. If he do do that, all that money is he gets nothing. So really? that's a good thing. I didn't hear yeah, that. that was that was that I'd was. I'd be sharp. like, kick me, nigga, kick me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so that it's a win win. It's a win win for uh for Floyd, I believe. Unless McGregor just hit that hard and he that goddamn fast and get a lucky one. But. <laughs> if you were in a position like Floyd, though, would you would you risk? Having the one loss on your record, even though you're getting um, all the money, he's he's 49 and 0 right now. Yeah, the reason he can risk it is it's not necessarily classified in the boxing world. You see what I'm saying? So even if he even if he was to get that L, he can technically say, as far as boxing, I never took no L. You know what I'm saying? Because this is just a it's a challenge slash spar what it really is because McGregor ain't no real boxer like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he can box, but this ain't what his career was built on. His yeah. career is built on MMA. You know what I'm saying? So do you watch, technically he can get away with it. Do you watch basketball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about the whole LeBron Kyrie Irving situation? Uh, I'm, Meaning as a fan. Like, I don't want you to get into their personal business, I mean, but as a fan. I, like, I, I fuck with both of them. You know what I'm saying? You and think the that's crazy gonna... thing is you, you have situations, of course, LeBron is going to be the, the favorite. I mean, you know, he, you can't take nothing away from him. He do what he do. You know, he came back from way when he left Miami back to build the team up to do what they do. But one thing I always do try and tell people, a lot of people feel like whoever's the most popular automatically wins that situation. But sometimes it'd be the ones that you think ain't the most popular that really is a diamond in the rough too. So go both ways. You know what I'm saying? That's just like if you got a, if you got a, a, a team, a, a maybe um, a, you can do a rap group team, anything. You know, people have their picks just by what's what, but that don't necessarily mm-hmm. mean they pick is the automatic the one who's supposed to be the best out of the out of the out of the bunch. I understand what you're saying. Nah, you looking like you don't understand. What <laughs> no, because you know, it's just like I feel like you think the same way with sports that you do with music, because you you di- you you work with the best of the best, and you find the um the diamond in the rough, which a lot of people don't do. They go with what they feel is popular at the moment, yeah, and, and people I, and don't hop on your dick. Until I'm you always the one to go against the grain, I guess, as mm-hmm. you can say. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think that's the better way of looking at stuff. Cause shit, if you're always going for what everybody else go for, you gotta ask yourself: that even really your decision or your opinion? Mm-hmm. You just ride with what everybody else say, majority rules, you know? Like, I ain't one of them cats. But I ain't to take nothing from LeBron. I fuck with both of them. It is what it is. I I don't know where um, where he going to end up at, but. I mean, what team, what's your favorite team anyway? I I just love Houston in right. general, you know what I'm saying? If his ass end up in Houston, it's going to be hell for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh. I, I don't know. You know, I'm one of them people, man. I got a lot of partners in, in a lot of a lot of teams. You know, so I I show love to all of them. But I'm just a, anything that come from Texas, I'm automatically you know, ride support for. immediately. I get yeah. it. So, um, what else is coming up for Trade the Truth? What other what other um, endeavors, projects, investments? The, the cartoon. Please tell me about your investments, because 
<laughs> the, the diamond smile is disrespectful. Yeah. The 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 cartoon, you know, we on the verge of, you know, like you see the little emoji, whether it's this close, where we that close to um closing the deal for TV for my cartoon. Um, I did the thing with McDonald's that turned out great, so I'm pretty sure we got new stuff coming. Um, I'm well, how would, how would you want to make the trade? Uh, how would you make the cartoon? Hmm? Like, how would you make the cartoon if you did, if you lock in this deal with television? How would you, what kind of how would you like it to be? You never seen my cartoon? No, been, I haven't seen it. Oh yeah, I've been having the cartoon damn near almost ten years now. So everybody familiar with it? Um, Ross did the episode, Snoop, uh, Marlon Wayans, Omar Epps, Ti, Red Man. Um, I'm working on a new one. I'm actually waiting on George Lopez. Um, oh, be vocals sick. like every, everybody been mm-hmm. part of the cartoon, so the cartoon been around for a minute. So it's one of the ones that everybody was waiting on it to actually be. And you're close, and you're and you're close to deal. closing a bigger deal with the situation. Yeah, yeah. So that most definitely that's one of the babies. And um, the McDonald's situation, you know, I'm looking for other endorsements. Um, I'm part owner of a company called Bump Box. Uh, I don't know if you've been seeing them. It's the big, the big radios everybody have. They they used to look like the breakdance radios, mm-hmm. the big mm-hmm. boom box you carry on your shoulders. Yeah. Well, I'm part um, owner of that, um, and a lot of people embracing that. You know, I did one for man, Dave Chappelle, Nas, Shaq, um, ASAP for So you get a lot. You got a lot of stuff going on out here, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else I'm doing? Of course, I'm doing everything with the nonprofit, man. Hopefully soon, I'll be able to um, get, when I get time to get focused, I, I always said I wanted to try and work on opening the children's shelter. So, I mean, I'm nice. just doing a little, bit of, a little bit of everything. I got a movie coming too, so. See, that I'm very big into the movies. So, what kind of movie is it? You familiar with Mozzie? Mozzie from the West Coast. Okay. Um, Mozzie, probably one of the hottest things coming out the West Coast. Me and him did a collaboration. Um, a movie we was actually at war with each other, so that's on some street shit, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm like on some to Tupac and Q, like juice shit. Uh, we wasn't partners. It was always war. It was always war. Yeah, yeah. and uh, that, and then I'm gonna try and hopefully by the end of the year, I'm gonna try and find a way to get into voiceovers. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you ever see yourself leaving hip hop all completely since that was the basis of everything? No, I mean you know shit. T I made me the, the, the vice president of the Grand yes. Hustle and I, mm-hmm. I still ain't stopped rapping. Like I I do that, but this come first, you know what I'm saying? So it I I just learned how to balance it. But I'm saying if you get a disrespectful amount of money in Hollywood, yeah, a disrespectful yeah, yeah, money money you know. with the cartoon. But guess what? I'm gonna keep that money and go get the extra money too. All right. <laughs> it just feels like well, Luda didn't leave hip hop, but it seems like his focus is movies, movies. now. So See, I, but the, the the thing is if you focus on that money like that and you ease back too much, it's gonna be too hard to come back and I feel like I always wanna keep my throne. feet in it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? If I keep my feet in it, I can still do what I do, dib and dab everywhere, but I'm still playing it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta realize I've been I've been in the game over twenty years. You ain't gonna yeah. find nobody that stay relevant that long and that easily. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Very few. Yeah, so I, I don't think if I don't record for a matter of weeks, I I'd be paranoid. it. Mm-hmm. Would you ever take Trey Day outside of Houston, or would you always want to keep it in Houston? Yeah, Trey Day is always going to be Houston, but a lot of people fly me to their cities to do the exact same thing okay. with them. And you know, I, I show up, I, I support. Like I actually got a March for Peace out of oh, I saw that on out of the gram. Yeah, you in Beloit, it? that's coming. Mm-hmm. That's coming with with a lot of um, a lot of gang members and stuff coming together, and I'm gonna go out there on the twentieth in Beloit to to march with them and do some stuff and um I don't know, I do I do a lot of stuff different places, man. Whenever they reach out, you know, if I'm available, I'm hands on with it. I mean, you know. Cause I, I feel like I would want people to support me the same way, so why mm-hmm. not go? Damn, I wish all the artists thought like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they don't <laughs> you know, at all. I right, well listen man, I'm looking forward because I I'm gonna keep it real with you. I only heard half this album. Yeah. I gotta listen to the other half. I'm looking forward to hearing. I, I think you pay. probably heard two songs. Nah, nah. I heard like a good, I'm going to say six. Okay. But I didn't pay attention to Kim. You said some big statement. You said like Drake, Bryson Tiller, and yeah, Kendrick, Kendrick Mix yeah, or some yeah. shit. That, hit, that little nigga, man, he'll switch it up from rapping to singing. And he's one of them, I got to be lyricist type 
artist, so it, it makes sense for him. All right, so I'm gonna pay more attention to he got a, uh He actually got a mixtape we had put out called Seeking Forever, and that shocked a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? So he, he growing in, in AO, me and AO helping shape him up, because at the end of the day, once people get polished a certain way and they're in that pocket, they confident and comfortable, and ain't nothing you can do with them. You know what I'm saying? Think about it, every artist get to a point where you catching them as they hungry coming up, but then you catch them as no matter what the fuck they put out, it's just like, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. So we polishing them for that. So <laughs> once that time come, we gonna set them loose. All right, cool. Yeah. Thank you for coming. I'm looking forward to hearing the rest of this album. Um, it's everywhere right now. Part yeah. three, the truth. Yeah, it's all over digital. It's all over streaming. The CDs yeah. is out. Thank you for the copy. Um, the cartoon. I'm gonna have to pay more attention to that. I'm, oh, I'm yeah. always watching horror movies, y'all. I gotta pay attention to other <laughs> shit. So I'm gonna watch the cartoon. Oh, the cartoon. Hey, you dying laughing, man. Yeah, that's what it. I don't know. Everybody love the cartoon. It'd it be so crazy. People come up to me. A lot of artists come up to me, and the first thing they said, "Man, you gotta let me get one episode in that cartoon." So. I'll be trying to juggle that around, too, to make sure everybody can get their look with that. Nah, that's dope. You're looking out for everybody. Yeah. The McDonald's, the trade day. Yeah, yeah. Grand Hustle v- VP. He got yeah. the keys to the city. Yeah, keys to the yeah. city. Okay. They're going to be doing a ceremony for that in the next couple, of either two to three weeks. So, y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all will be seeing and hearing about yes. that. All right, well, the only thing I'm going to end this interview is, because I said it last time, can I get invited to the next trade day, please? Uh, you know, I, I, I <laughs> just, please, and I just it. talked to... I just talked to Slay about this. I be doing so much, and it, it totally slipped my mind. I, Cause I be trying to embrace and invite everybody out. All y'all gotta do is remind me, man. And the car, the red carpet will be rolled out. All you gotta do is go get on the plane. Everything will be courtesy of me. You just come run with me for a few days. I'm gonna hold you up to that. <laughs> all right. Everybody who know me know my word is all I got. So your man nodded yes. All right, uh, trade yeah. the truth. <laughs> The album yes. out right now, man's DJ Sus won the feature presentation, Ali V. Yes. Thank you for coming to the show, my brother. Thank Appreciate you. y'all.